Hey guys, this is Caleb here with Common Motor. Today we're back working on the failed Cafe Racer CB450 in our Fixin' a Ride series. This is going to be a tidy up episode, if you will. Um, we need to take the exhaust back off so we can get to the starter and rebuild that. We need to change out the shocks. We need to kind of finish up a few things that I'll tell you about when we get into it. Uh, so we're not really focusing on any specific area, kind of all of them and finishing up a few things we need to do before we get to the wheels on the front and back. Um, so let's get into it. This is so easy to take on and off now it's together. Oh yeah, got it off. First time rebuilding a starter. <laughs> Hopefully it goes well. We got the starter out of the bike. I'm hooking these alligator clips up to my battery. So I just give it a little test to make sure it is indeed the starter. We are going to hook this to the positive and then ground is naked, the body is ground on these. It's not doing much. Definitely need to rebuild this. That is a lot of brush carbon worn off of this. So yeah, this is why. This is for sure why it's not working. We had one left in stock. So uh, I'm just gonna kind of get to rebuilding this. If you guys want to know how to rebuild your electric starter yourself, we do have a video that I will link below and up in the corner. Um, so yeah, let's get it rebuilt so we can get it back on the bike. I just connected a little bit more hardcore and now you can see it's working. It's a lot of sparks flying so I'm a little terrified but uh, we're good to go back in the bike. These are looking very worse for the wear. 
These are definitely the original shocks, which means they've been on here for, uh, that's, uh, 30, 50 years? 50 years in 2022. 40, 48 years. We are gonna replace them with our common motor heavy duty shocks because me and my fiance like to ride on the bike together a lot and I might be riding this bike in the Vintage 1000 next August. So there'll be a lot of luggage, the bike will be loaded up, the extra heavy duty springs on these guys will be helpful. While this is off, on my uh, grill motorcycle, we got a chain guard included with it. So I think I'm gonna throw this bad boy on. I'm gonna clean it really quick. And uh, that way we can have the chain nice and protected. Grow some muscles, Caleb. Okay, after we started this series, um, an awesome subscriber and customer of ours uh, sent out this sweet period correct luggage rack for the bike. We didn't have one when we bought it and uh, it's really cool to have one, but it's made for a CB450 K6. This is a K5 bike, um, but our grill motorcycle parts bike is a K6. So last episode we cut off the tabs that allow us to adapt this and we're gonna weld them on this frame. All right, so to get access to where we're gonna weld the tabs on, I need to take off the wheel and the seat and a few other pieces, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, we got our tabs welded on. They look about the same as the factory Honda welds. Um, we're gonna go ahead and clean up the rest of the bike. I need to put some paint on this back end and swing arm, and we're gonna polish up the fender and the rear rack. All right, so we threw everything back on the 450 here. We had a big shot move here at Common Motor, so I needed to be able to roll it around. But we put the tire back on, the rear hoop, the rear luggage rack, and the exhaust and the exhaust shields. Looking real nice. Um, but that kind of concludes our kind of weird projects. We put this rear hoop and rear luggage rack on the bike. We rebuilt the starter this episode, and we're moving on next time to uh, swap out the tires with some awesome hiding out tires 
and we're gonna rebuild the front and the back brake. All right, so this was Caleb here with the CB450 Failed Cafe Racer, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our newsletter over at common-motor.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel right down below. See you next time.